Hey folks, Post here. Welcome back to another Poem Masters video. And today we're going to go over, I guess, some, you know, some ways to grind the new sync stone for the sync grid. So for those of you who don't know, sync grid update's already out. You know, you could get sync stones and all that stuff. And then you could, you know, do sync grid stuff. Um, you could make, like, you could do it for all your characters, but like most of them only have like a really small area that you could use at the moment. So you're mainly going to be grinding them for either Infernape or Flannery, or, which I've been working on, or uh, or Pikachu. So these are the only three that you could work with. And, uh, well, they're, they're, they're all really, really good. They're, in, they're insane now with the, um, with the Synchrid update. They're unbelievably good. So, all right. So, again, you, so every time you do a match, you have a chance to get these things called these, uh, these Sync Orbs. I guess they're called Sync Orbs. And, um, you could also get Co-op Sync Orbs as well from Co-ops. And then, you know, regular Sync Orbs are just from, you know, single player. And you could... Uh, turn co-ops sync orbs into regular sync orbs so you actually need a lot of these because like look at like this one like this needs like 60 um uh sync orbs to like even unlock one so uh, it's gonna take a while so let's go over some methods of actually uh, you know uh, getting these a bit quicker so first of all uh, you have to realize that you could get these from essentially any stage it's completely luck that you could like run into a you know, a, a, a scenario where you could actually uh, get these. So uh, let's say you just go to events and you don't have to go to events. You could, again, any stage, co-op or single player all works. So let's let's go in events. Let's go into this one. So this is the um, you know, fi uh, fire type training event. And so sometimes it has the sync orbs. Sometimes, okay, so under there, it didn't say it has sync orbs. So what we're going to do basically is we're just going to keep on going in and then if there's no sync you know there's no um uh, sync orbs we're just going to exit out of there and just you know just keep on refreshing until we get sync orbs right so when there are sync orbs uh it'll tell you at, at the bottom uh, of the banner and they'll also tell you you know once you're in there as well there's in the, there's, there's a lot of signs to tell you that it's a sync orb stage right um let's just keep on <laughs> going and exiting out. It, it takes you know sometimes it takes around like four to five tries average and you, you'll get one right um got nothing here again let's it's our third try um again you know it, it, it takes a while to to get a stage from uh, you know where sync orbs drop to appear again they drop on every single stage in the game um they all have the same chances to drop uh, as far as i'm concerned and uh, you know it depend you know it doesn't matter which stage you know they'll, they all have you know really decent uh, you know the same around the same rates to drop but um, again, it's just not guaranteed. You just have to keep on going in and exiting out, uh, to see if, you know, they could actually drop. All right. Come on. Come on, game. It's been a while. <laughs> Give it to me. Oh, uh, <laughs> trying to do a YouTube video here, man. <laughs> Help me out a bit, game. Come on. <laughs> again, you don't have to do this. You, you just, you know, let your account go in and, and just do the fight. You don't have to just keep on exiting out. And whatever of course you're not going to get uh sync orbs in your if you're in a match that doesn't give you sync orbs but you know it's so good to get the uh the other stuff that's offered in there as well so anyways um while we're trying to uh get a, a sync orb stage here to pop up uh, let's actually talk about co-op first so co-op i'm not actually going to show because uh just don't do co-op for sync orbs um co-op for sync orbs are just terrible i see a lot of people doing them and they're just being really bad <laughs> <laughs> honestly in co-op like they just go in and then if there's no sync orb they just jump out with absolute no regard or respect for their teammates right now their teammates is left with a ai oh there we go sync orb drop chance and then on the top over there it also says uh sync orb drop chance and then um what you want to do here basically is just not kill the enemy um just keep on doing all this random stuff just to make sure you don't harm the enemy use like non-damaging moves or whatever um, well, you don't have to, but, you know, just make sure you don't kill the enemy before you sync move. And then you sync move. When you sync move, you have to use um, the, the you know, um, the sync pair that you're far that you're trying to farm for. So I'm trying to farm for Torkoal, so you have to use Torkoal sync move. If you use Embor sync move, you'll get sync orbs for Embor and not Torkoal. So I uh, got to use Torkoal to uh, use the sync move, then you'll get the uh, sync orb, right? And uh, there we go. We got the, we got the sync orb. 
hopefully. And it should be five per drop in single player, right? So, okay, here's the reason why you shouldn't do it in co-op. So in single player, you get five of these, right? And in co-op, every time it happens, uh, you get 25 in co-op, of the co-op, uh, same corpse. And you think, hey, wait, you know, that's 25, this is five. It's obviously better, right? But no, it's not better. It's actually much, much worse. Uh, so first of all, let's uh, get back to the sync grid. Um, just so I can show you guys why co-op is really bad um, for, for sync orbs. So go in here and check. So for the co-op sync orbs, there's actually a conversion rate. So it's 10 co-op sync orbs and you get one. So 25 is essentially only two. Well, every single uh, player run um, that you get sync orb drops from uh, is five. So you're getting like twice as many per you know, single player run in comparison to co-op runs. And also most co-op runs take much longer. You have to wait for people to join and all that stuff. And you could also fail because a lot of them are harder, right? Um, so don't just don't do co-op. Co-op just give you garbage. Um, and if you are trying to do co-op to farm, at least play with NPCs. Don't play with actual real players, right? Um, don't go in there and then, you know, if you don't see a sync orb pop up and then just leave, that's just ter that's just being a terrible person. <laughs> and also, you're playing the game wrong as well. You know, that's not how you get sync orbs uh, efficiently either. So, again, if you really just want to do co-op to farm it, just play with NPCs. Don't actually play with people. Um, it's just it's just being a bad person if you just, you know, go in there, don't see sync orbs, and then leave, right? You know, obviously, for co-op, if you're just doing your regular gear grinding or event mission grinding, and then, you know, that's fine, right? You know, you go in there, you grind, and also, apparently for co-op, it's not even guaranteed that it drop, like, even if it comes out, like, and you use your sync, it's not guaranteed, so co-op is terrible, 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 terrible for for uh, farming sync orbs. So just don't do co-op co -op if you're trying to farm sync orbs. So anyways, as for single players, so which stages uh, should you really do? Um, so there's there's a few, like, like obviously, if you want if you want to get these like really really quick i guess the quickest method is just to go into like whatever you know let's say level up course you go to like uh let's not do hard let's just like go to the easiest one um let's do normal and like just throw in like uh throw in something like um like a cynthia or or raichu or whatever whoever has an aoe uh attack right uh ethan whatever just throw someone with aoe in there and uh, also, obviously, bring the bring the sync pair that you want uh, to get sync sync orbs with. I'm going with Torkoal, right? So I'm bringing Torkoal. So all you have to do is just use some kind of team comp like that, and also support draw aggro from, and just go in. And if, if you see, um, if you see the sync orb thing pop up, then you just play it manually. I don't see a sync orb. I just click earthquake, and the whole squad's dead. <laughs> really, really quick. So you don't have to, you know, go back and then exit and then just come back again, right? Um, really, really quick, you kill their whole squad in one hit with an AoE move. And then you just click fight again and see if our sync orbs here. No, they're not. Earthquake and GG, right? This is probably the quickest method. Uh, you know, you have to just, you know, awake, uh, wait for an actual sync orb stage uh, to drop again. It's It's completely random, right? Um, again, nothing here. We'll earthquake this. So you just have to be patient, as with any other stage, right? Uh, but this is probably your quickest option. Just go into normal. If there's sync orbs, then just, you know, try not to kill your opponent. Do not kill your opponent, right? Because if you kill your opponent if uh, before you sync move, uh, you're not going to get the sync orb. So I'm just trying to... Uh, come on, just give me a stage. I need to demonstrate this, man. <laughs> come on. Um, I need to do a YouTube video game. <laughs> So, yikes. Um, so, so just use non-damaging moves to, you know, uh, uh, rack up your, your sync um, countdown. Um, so, again, don't hit them. I mean, if you don't, if you want to hit them, that's fine. You know, just hit, like, two of the three. Just don't kill everyone. Just take out maybe two. And, you know, just leave one alive so you could sync it. And that just gives you the, uh, the sync orbs. And, again, remember, difficulty does not... You know which stage, which difficulty that does not influence these rates at all, at least to my knowledge, best of knowledge at the moment. Um, so it doesn't matter if it's normal, hard, very hard, whatever. Uh, the rates should be pretty similar. As you can see, I'm having really, really bad luck at the moment with these rates. So, anyways, uh, last try. If it doesn't work, we'll, we'll just move on to our next point, right? So, okay. Well, GG. Um, so. 
an another method is 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 a bit slower than actually um, actually doing this like you know just doing normals um, it's gonna be slower to get sync orbs but it also gives you some other you know better stuff so the other method is just to just to go do whatever single player you know um, training it, you know a training area thing that you need like you know if you want to level level cap your strikers you just go to ultra hard strike if you want to level cap your uh, tech units go to like ultra hard tech if you want to level up your units the level up manuals you go to the um the fire tr fire type training event where you get a lot of the xp you get training manuals and you also get the um uh you also uh, extra fire type exp and you also get um the the vouchers for this event anyway so honestly this event right now should be the probably your best one to grind on because it gives you vouchers uh it gives you chances to drop sync orbs uh it also you know gives you a fire type exp right and just do it like normal so even if you don't uh you know it, 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 if you don't get sync orbs you just do it like normal you're still getting all the exp stuff you're getting the vouchers you're getting the training manuals you're getting all this stuff that you need anyways so you know, of, of course if you're if you just want the sync orbs now you obviously would want to you know do the do the normal training stages because that's much quicker uh this is a bit slower but again you do get other good stuff as well for the normal stages you're just getting potato right um you know if if you don't have if you don't get uh what you want and then for these again takes a while but uh yeah so you know when an actual stage shows up with a with a sync orb obviously you want to turn auto off and do it manually just so like your your striker over here the one doing most of the damage uh, does not get that sync move because again keep in mind you do have to use a sync move for the sync pair that you are you know you're trying to level up your sync grid for so in my case it would be torquil i'll have to turn auto off and then just go on doing my business get my sync move off because you know usually you know super hard ultra hard oh there we go sync orb chance we're going to turn auto off let's go let's start uh buffing i guess and stuff um again we don't want to kill them so even though I'm using trying to stop us, it's doing nothing, but, you know, that's fine. We're just here to try to waste moves, right? That's our goal. All right. Um, I guess we could throw in a Flare Blitz just to kill off the sides. Since, uh, you know, up uh, oh, there we go. That That's dead. And uh, after this X special attack, we go, uh, we go ahead and do our sync move, and that should deal some damage to Aegis Slash. Not enough to take it out, but uh, uh, Ember should take care of that. You know, after that, you could just auto. By the way. Um, for those wondering if you could get multiple um, sync orbs in one run, so if you use like multiple sync moves in one run, um, would that work? No, it doesn't work. Um, you only get the drop once. If you use multiple sync moves in one run, you still just get one, uh, you know, one set of sync orbs, which is five, right? So I, I I tried it, so don't go do that. Just get your one and then just run off. So uh, there you go. That's basically. Um, you know all the stages that you need to know about. You know grinding these sync orbs again. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tough grind. So, yeah, it, it's gonna take well. So again, I I I'll just suggest folks just take it easy. Um, just you know just do. Uh, personally, I would just suggest doing the stages that you need to grind anyways for them, and uh, not not uh, instead of the the really really quick method. Which of course, if you have nothing else to grind, then go for that. But I assume most folks have a lot of stuff to grind anyway, so yeah, just do this method, just whatever you really need, and just keep on doing that, and you know, once you see the sync thing, uh, just pay attention, turn off auto so your striker doesn't get the uh, the, the sync move kill. So anyways, uh, that's me for this one, I hope you guys enjoyed, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, like you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel for some more Pokemon Masters content, uh, join the Discord in the description box below to talk Pokemon Masters with me and all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.